Hey guys, it's May May, and tonight I'm going to attempt to dupe color dusters or ink dusters. Have you guys seen the dusters that have the um, kind of brushy, brushy tops on them and therefore kind of dusting ink onto pages and stuff? Well, I saw them in a video and I remembered these brushes that we used to use or that I have used as a child, and they're kind of dusty brushes they kind of have those scruffy um, bristles like those dusters do and I got these at um, Michael's and I want to say they were like a dollar a dollar and some change and so I just thought we'd find out if these work together I have not used them I have not tried but they f they look the same as those dusters I don't know how they feel because I have not played with those dusters but I'm gonna see if these will do the same thing and I got three of them and they're pretty stiff so we might get a pretty good result. We're going to find out. Now I have this piece of paper here, and it's going to be our scrap piece. And I've cut some pieces um, of different shapes for us to test things out with. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use some Tim Holtz Distress Ink. Now I'm going to go straight from the pad. Some people I noticed when I was looking up stuff about this will use the... Um, Pat will use the ink pad onto a craft mat and then use it. But I'm going to go straight from the pad and see how that works. One thing I do, I hope these work because I do like the way they have this piece on them that makes them lay flat and they don't roll around. So I kind of hope this does work. And I'm not going to go from the side like a paintbrush. I'm going to go from the top like I would a blender. And can you see the ink on there? It's there. And we're just going to see what happens. And I'm going to hold it straight up and down and just start to blend. And, and I'm just trying to do exactly what I see them doing on videos. And if this doesn't work, we've learned something. And you will know, and either way, you won't have to spend your money. <laughs> now, I'm going to show you these results right now. I don't feel like that's doing anything I want it to do. I don't feel like that looks um, at all like my ink blender does. So now I'm going to try just coming from the sides onto the piece and not doing circular motions. Okay, so now I'll show you this. I feel like the edges got darker that time. Let me put it over some white. See, I feel like the edges got darker, but I still don't necessarily love that, so I'm gonna keep trying. Now what I'm gonna do is get a different shape and I'm going to try a different ink. Instead of using a Distress ink, I thought I'd bring in something like this. This is a Memento ink, and I, I have used this before with my ink blending tools and things. So I'm gonna dip into this, I'm gonna rub it off on my paper, and then I'm going to dust and see what kind of results I get. Now I watched people use these, and their results were really good with the real deal. I'm just wondering what we're going to get. Okay, I'm going to pick this up. That's kind of a fail. I do not like it at all. Okay, now let's do a different test. I'm going to go back to my Distress Ink because I think it worked the best. And I went ahead and did some embossing on this page, just some clear embossing. And so there are some little things on here, which you probably can see a little bit. But I just thought I would try this out and see what happens. So I'm going to go back with... So this is a clean brush, and I'm going to put it into some vintage photo. And I'm going to come down here to the bottom. And now everybody I watched said to dab some off so you don't get streaks, to hold it like a pencil, and brush. So that's what we're going to do and see what kind of result we get. Okay, and now I'm going to wipe that away with a paper towel and bring it up to the camera so you can see, and I do not care for it. I don't think this is a good idea at all. <laughs> so, let's see. Let's go back into this gray, and let's try doing this little guy here. that ink away. 
I just think these look dirty. I don't like this idea at all. But I'm glad I tried it because I thought those they're kind of expensive if you look at them online if you're going to buy them, those little um, ink dusters. But there must be something different because they don't work like these dudes. Um, I don't know. I'm really disappointed because I thought, oh, I can dupe those and I won't have to spend the money. But this is not working the same. Now, if you're interested in seeing how they work, I found a couple of people online doing them. If you will search color dusters or ink dusters and watch how they do it i think you'll be able to see the difference in these so before you go spend a buck on these <laughs> put your money into the real deal because i think they'll work better so before i give up totally i'm going to try one more thing i have some colors that are kind of sunsetty. i i'm going to see what happens if we kind of try to do a sunset with these guys let's just use some red and some yellow so I'm going to start with the yellow. I'm going to try putting ink onto this plastic and see if it transfers better. You may not can see that on there, but I can see it. We'll see if it'll pick it up better and do better. I just can barely see it. And where I do see it is where I'm sitting the brush down first. Um, I can know you can see it in the camera, but it seems to be taking a lot of work. So let's do the same with this and put it onto the plastic. Oh, wrong brush. And let's start at the bottom and off. So it's not the worst thing I've ever seen, but it's really, really pale and it's really, really streaky. Let me bring it up for you to be able to see it. Can you see the streaks and how it's really sloppy and the bristles are falling out a pretty good bit? But you know, I paid a dollar for them. So what was I expecting, right? Another thing, maybe they get better over time. I noticed that that really made a mark. I don't know. I think I'm going to leave this up to you guys. This might work for you. It, for me, I just don't think this is the way I want projects to look. It's not my favorite. So I spent a dollar to try them out and I'm not in love with them. But if you think this will work for you, hey, there they are in the stores. I think one thing that makes the originals work so much better is they have so much more bristles. And I think they may be um, so much more dense that you get such a better push. With these, I'm having to push so hard, it's almost giving me those streaks every time. So, don't waste your dollar, guys. I just don't think these are the same thing. And um, if you've tried these before or if you tried the ink dusters, let me know in the comment how, how you like them because I may be purchasing them since I tried these and I don't like this. So, anyway, there's a fail for you guys. Sometimes we fail. Sometimes stuff happens. But that was a dollar I don't feel like I wasted because I feel like I wanted to know. And now you guys can know too. So, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.